<laughs> Metalheads of the world rejoice. Girlfriends of metalheads, I'm sorry. This week, thrash metal icons Megadeth released their 12th studio album, Endgame. With critically acclaimed albums such as Rust in Peace and Countdown to Extinction, the platinum-selling Megadeth are considered one of the big four of thrash, along with Metallica, Slayer, and Anthrax. With virtuoso guitar-driven songs like Bite the Hand That Feeds, Bodies Left Behind, and Head Crusher, Endgame promises more of the technicality, ferocity, and snarl with which the band has become synonymous. Megadeth was born when frontman Dave Mustaine was ejected from Metallica as a result of his violent behavior and substance abuse. You know you have a serious drug problem when Metallica fires you. For years, Mustaine was still seriously PO'd at Metallica for kicking him out. But in 2001, in a moment fit for Oprah, Mustaine and Metallica drummer Lars Ulrich sat down together with a therapist and cameras present to talk things through. Afterwards, both men went through an early and surprising menopause, and each is now attuned to their inner power source, and both vow to take an emotional time out before getting on the me train. Megadeth disbanded in 2002 after Mustaine suffered a severe nerve injury to his left arm when he slept on it. There are a few things I've heard of that rank as that stupid, though George W. choking on a pretzel comes to mind. Following extensive physical therapy, Mustaine reformed the band in 2004 and released The System Has Failed. Soon thereafter, he put together a yearly metal festival called Gigantor. However, they may have to rename it, as dozens of sufferers of elephantitis have mistakenly sought out Gigantor as a welcoming safe space, but were immediately seized and made to ride llamas naked in a mosh pit teeming with wild metalheads. After his injury, Mustaine became a born-again Christian, which is enough to make you never, ever want to fall asleep on your arm. Say what you will, I kind of want to see the elephant man riding a llama. So this is Dr. Biagi telling you to turn it up.